Now here the question is, if m into n coins have been distributed into m persists n into each, now we need to find the probability that two specific coins a and b, they are in the same purse. Now what we'll say is, we'll say, suppose we have these coins distributed in these n purses and there are m into n positions. Now in one of the purses, we'll have a, now suppose a is present in this purse. For b to be present in this purse, b can be there in any one of the remaining n minus 1 places. So number of favorable places for b will be simply n minus 1, whereas total number of places will be simply m into n minus 1. So this probability that two specific coins will be found in the same purse is given by n minus 1 upon m into n minus 1 and that's our part 1. Now second part is what the chance becomes when r purses have been examined and found not to contain either of the specific coins. Now here there will be two cases. Case 1 when both the coins they are together and this second case when they are in separate purses. Now this probability that they will be together it is given by n minus 1 upon m into n minus 1 and the probability that they will be in separate purse will be given by 1 minus p and it will be m n minus 1 minus n plus 1 upon m n minus 1. Now 1 and 1 will cancel. So we can write this as n into m minus 1 upon m into n minus 1. Now when a and b are together and r purses have been examined, then the probability that they occur in the remaining m minus r purses will be given by m minus r by n. So total we have m choices and the favorable cases they are not present in the first r purses. Now in this case say p2 now p2 is when both of them they are in separate purses but still they are not in first r. So here it will be this mc2 so any two or these m and then it will be this m minus r c2 which is m minus r m minus r minus 1 divided by 2 now 2 will cancel and here will be this m into m minus 1. So if they are together then the probability that they will be in r purses it is given by m minus r by m and if they are not together then the probability that they will be in remaining m minus r purses will be given by m minus r into m minus r minus 1 upon m m minus 1. Now we need to find the probability that they are in the same purse provided both of them they are not there in the r purses that have been examined. So that means we have to find this probability that they are in the same purse when we have examined r purses. So now it becomes a base theorem question. So this case will come in the numerator. So it will be this n minus 1 upon mn minus 1 into m minus r by m. So it will be this n minus 1 upon mn minus 1 m minus r upon m plus this case where it is n into m minus 1 upon mn minus 1 into m minus r m minus r minus 1 divided by m into m minus 1. Now here m minus 1 and m minus 1 will cancel m n minus 1 and m it will also cancel. So this required probability will be n minus 1 into m minus r and the denominator will take m minus r common and then will be this n minus 1 and plus n into m minus r minus 1. Now m minus r will cancel. So we can write this as n minus 1 upon and this is n minus 1 plus mn minus nr minus n. Now this n and n 
will cancel. So this probability will be n minus 1 upon mn minus nr minus 1. And that is the answer to this question.